What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play World Domination as the United States. So, to run off where we left off, a Maratha stack has edged dangerously close to our capital city in the region, Calcutta, and we're going to take this opportunity to chew them up, because as you can see there are lots of enemy stacks on the horizon. So we need to plan when the opportunity um, presents itself in order we don't get overwhelmed. Um, so I don't think the city will hold out against four or five stacks, especially if they attack us every turn, one after another. Or at the very least, the situation will become increasingly desperate. But the idea is, well, I suppose with that second city, the second army behind, any units which become suitably depleted can be pulled. The enemy will try to smash their way in with siege equipment. Use your heaviest troops. Okay, dokie, so let's pull out deploy everyone back here for now. So, line infantry. Let's put some marines on the flank. On the flanks. Because I'm not concerned about. I'm not concerned about the. Oh, let's get some marines. Some proper US Marines to hold the gate. I'm not concerned about them um, gaining a foothold. I think they are going to be defeated. God, I don't know why it gets this. Um, they're not going to get. They're not going to get into the city. Um, we will successfully manage to hold them off. Um, the problem becomes if they start. Picking, apart, picking us apart. So let's put a weaker guard unit here. See, like I want to right click, drag, not right click, deploy. So let's put one howitzer unit here, one howitzer unit here. Obviously, quick climb into hell. Foot artillery, stay back. General's bodyguard is a bit depleted. Then we've got infantry here ready to cover any breaches because they do have artillery. Let's crack on. We could try target their artillery specifically, and they might even be within just out of quick limb range. So is, here comes the quick limb. Ooh, you will actually pick at the pick at their artillery. The other set of guns will pick at their infantry. No, nope, no spies, no open gates. Good. And these guys are actually manned. This gun is actually useful to maintain. They're hitting our bastion. Say so by 24 pounders, get some good kills. Again, they've got within range. They're not manning the artillery, which is a shame, because the artillery is the most useful thing to hold. Oh dang, there's a breach. Two breaches. Okay, so let's put. Always check for breaches, kids. Let's put some line infantry. Pull these guys off of the walls. Some of them are retreating. Prepare for frame rate drop. Oh no, they've actually gone away. 
It, see, they haven't actually climbed up on the walls, but... Feel free. These are marines. Who are on guard mode. <laughs> Not even bothered by them. Just fight them normally. Slid our lances. See if the dervishes are going to throw grappling irons up. Nope. Unlimber and just blast shrapnel shot into the gap. I don't know. They are shooting them actually while they try to cross the bridge. First enemy unit to make it round to the breach. Oh, he's luckily he's only taken a, a casualty, three casualties from trap and shot. Content on Marines are having none of it. Broken. You're making steady progress. You... And then let's get my other unit start hitting. Maybe not the camels. Oh, devastating shrapnel shots there. Very kind of them to go in in diamond formation. Go on, get one more of his horse. times. There's some more horsemen who want to come around. Let's move the marines up because I don't want them taking position on this fire step and firing back into my men. I want them to set up and fire down onto the Pindari horsemen. Let's take up to another cavalry unit that thinks it's going to make it to the breach. Go on, Marines. No! Why are you taking up new positions? God damn it. So, because the unit decided to reorganise, they've completely missed an opportunity to cast a set of deadly fire down onto those men. Howitzers have almost caused the artillery to, sh to break. They're not firing, but that's okay. Come on, lads. You guys pour fire down into the Pindari horsemen. Sorry about that, everyone. My, float, my throat just got really, really icky for a minute. Good stuff. What I want is these guys to form up our... pick up the guns and then we can start to engage the enemy back here. You've already got your target, you can shoot at them if they're going to be glitched out in the centre. There we go. Here comes the actual artillery from the gun teams. No, the marines are get glitched, so they are going to be forever pinned to this spot. Or at least they'll never be able to actually shoot at anything. Musket engagement only. Let's move this unit of guards over here to fire down. 
onto them. At this point, I think I might even speed up time. Because my howitzers will continue to do damage. Good, that's un let's open them up. So let's spin my artillery fire onto the general's bodyguard. And let's watch them run into the breach. Ooh, they just managed to escape the shrapnel shot. But they did, well, they did make it to my marines. Too bad these are late marines. There we go, shot them off their horse. So let's speed up time, because right now there's only... It's the general's bodyguard and the gun team. That's all they've got remaining. Okay, let's get them to round shot the general's bodyguard. I would send someone out, but I don't want to trigger the darn elephants doing anything useful broken broken awesome damn right it's a heroic victory we shouldn't we couldn't have went at all 140 for a thousand and forty four beautiful yep here comes here comes even more so I could auto resolve it but it would cause us to lose lots of men and I do want to take these opportunities when they arise. Um, otherwise, they'll all hit us at once and become overwhelming. Oh, which is dedicated to knocking back Maratha stacks as they hit. We'll get within range of Bengal anyway. There you go. So, same plan as before, except they're all over here actually, which means my howitzers are even more useful. Okay, so marines in the combat spots, line infantry over the gates, actually I might even put the depleted line infantry unit over the gate, East India Company men here, and here. Well, they're line infantry, not East Indiamen. Where's my breach? Okay. So, same as before. Set the artillery up back here. Um, infantry guards here. We got. Oh, that's a lot of a lot of infantry. So let's put a marine unit here. So let's set up our set up our pocket. Why don't we put line infantry up here? Because I'll fire downwards into this mess. Put general's bodyguard back. Put some continental marines here. Let's put two units of infantry here. Spare unit of continental marines, and you can go on the flank. I think they should focus going down the right, trying to get into the breach. Where's that organ gun? There it is. Great gun, sorry. Good God, that's a even though it was a miss, that was a damn effective miss. So one of these can engage the great gun. Do you must they both can? Because knocking out that gun is the most effective thing. See, good job my weak unit of dervishes is going to go around my left. Because that's where my weaker defensive position is. It looks like apart from these two units of dervishes they're going to try and go around the flank. Good god, the great guns. The dervishes are doing a good grand job. Well, we're doing a grand job in massacring the dervishes. 
I doubt these guys will actually end up assaulting the walls. I mean, if they kept, went, depending on where the cannons fire, they might not even throw the grappling irons up. Will they throw them? Damn. Oh, stupid line. So we should be doing loads of damage to them as they got pa go past this wall because of the fire by rank bug. That's not happening. Like, these guys are fair enough because this position's rubbish. There we go. Okay, I need to get more, I need to get more shots out than this, guys. Keep bombing the great gun. She goes pretty, pretty slow at reloading. And the misses have even killed one of my gun crews. Yeah, there it is. They killed a crewman. So the reloading on these guys is 27. So you fire slower than my foot artillery. Although the 4D chess play might be to aim. Oh no. I was about to say maybe I focus on. If I kill them. I can move my general in to maybe sprint out and kill them, but that's not going to happen because we've got lots of Pindari horsemen. There we go. So my light infantry will cover the stun on the first step here and fire outwards, and they will also fire backwards into this cauldron here. I mean, they, I could well have just given them the bait to assault, but doubt they will. Good. Quick climbs actually hit and done more damage than those round shot salvos did. Well actually how much to halt fire for now. Just let them make their first move. Glitchy for a second. I mean, I did try and target, but they didn't move, so I'm just going to hit the ground. <laughs> Much more carefree. Let's get some dervishes out of the back. Okay, let's bring the company infantry back. Bring the Continental Marines back. Let's watch the quick climb go in. It's killed two crewmen. So it stopped one of the gun teams from being able to fire. Come on, I'm trying to get you guys off the wall so you don't die. I don't know what you're hanging about there for. Yep, they want to attack me, but they don't know how. So my, my fourth foot guards, US Marines, are just going to shoot the hell out of them. Oh yeah, stay there, please. Just stand there and be shot to bits. Ooh, but they're going to put some grappling irons up. And run away. Good, so we killed a, killed a gun. Killed two more crew. So 
just need to like speed up time a little bit because right now it looks like everything's a bit, a bit similar. Everything's a bit similar at the minute because the dervishes they want to attack, but do they want to attack? But they're just charging around the flank. They're not actually trying to attack. Ooh, these guys have come back, but they've routed. Two more crewmen are dead because of quicklime. These dervishes are definitely going to rout. They might be waiting for this wall to be destroyed, but if they do, they're going to be met by a serious amount of musket fire. Yeah, see now it's gone all a bit frame ratey. Yep. Oh, yeah, it's, it's immediately stopped when they've decided to flee. The great gun team are wavering. There's only six of them left. Enough to crew one gun. So it's taken two 24 pound howitzers. A hell of a long time to actually try and weaken a gun team. Good, they finally managed to make them break. So let's start picking off their cavalry. We could, we could sally, to be fair. But why sally when you've got just quicklime that can just do crazy amounts of damage. I mean, when it gets a good hit. Theoretically, I should maybe be doing round shot. Just to farm the experience. Boom, quick climb shot. Ooh, beautiful. Yeah, I'd be considering your position too. So let's get these guys back on the wall. To man the cannons to fire on to this unit of Pindari horsemen. Well, it looks like we have convinced one of them to attack. Nope, they've broken. They've broken. So let's round shot the unit in the back. And let's hope. Maybe I might need to do something like this. so they pick up the guns. Not on the field of fire? I don't think I can use these. I think these count as destroyed. Oh, I just... Ooh, who do I... Okay, right. Where's my general? Yeah, they can't make their minds up. Send out some bait. Aha! So that's part of what was screwing up, was these camel gunners. Damn right, you better waver. Keep my general safe. Good. Oh, come on. Okay, good. I wonder if there's anyone, anyone else annoying hidden around like that. But what I would like... Come on, Mon General. Okay, good. We've lured them in. Come on, General. See, because these guys are no help because they can't even decide... Come on, run, General. If you don't run, they're going to shoot the hell out of you. <laughs> Good. 
I'm completely fine without friendly fire. That's what you get for being rubbish. See? Now, now, now they got artillery. They actually got into position. Stop shooting with you guys because I can see what's going to happen here. And now let's speed up time. Because these guys are in quick line range. Good. Heroic victory. Done. It's just a few more men than we would have done, than we should have done, because that oh, it's only 99, because of the great gun. Oh, God, alive. <laughs> I can't do that many in a row. <laughs> okay, everything's... Okay, this is manageable. Okay, good. Okay, so Elton Coal Power. Let's move you out of Yankton, and that's okay. Let's get you on a long walk to Boston. Let's disband all of you guys. Build. Build. Go to church school. Start to convert you. Do some more grading of my industry, not that I really need it, before I get onto the fun of the fleets arriving. Leslie Oliver, embark. Let's just get the sloop inflexible. To India. Okay, so this is probably going to be an inefficient way to move my troops. Because I could probably just use loads of smaller units. But I also need... Ooh. Have you already got... Okay, drop the rocket units. The rocket troop out. Okay, no Browning and his grenadiers... Game embarked. Sailed over to India. Let's get you over into here. Oh, you're a nice unit. Let's get everyone. Let's get into the region because they're not going to make it. They're not going to be done this turn. Let's upgrade you. Erwin Keats, let's get you to a port and we'll build you a sloop to get you over to. Ooh, actually. There we go. Gifford Law. There you go. Because now we own the rest of the world, the firepower we can bring to bear in any one theatre is. Huge. Yep, and the Marathas are still being the Marathas, although they're not actually doing anything here. So just keep building militia, because I'm not going to engage these guys, because what's the point? So. <laughs> God, this is like D Day, but better. Okay, so. I want to drop two of these guys off of the coast of Tara. Well, I don't know why it's... Because I definitely want to drop... Ooh, you're a good sieging army, actually. Peter Payne, who's a fantastic general. Let's drop him. God, it's very frame ratey. This is. Set sail. Harvesting supplies. 
Good. Let's get my sloops just to be annoying. I mean, I'll probably be... No, that you... Stop. <laughs> you will be engaged by that army, by that navy. Okay, so let's drop... You guys off the Mysore. Oh, wow, well, you might actually be able to assault them. Well, you can. <laughs> Hold on, I'll deal with that soon. So Marcus... Go to the Karkal Wetland. I don't know what it is about trying to just... Just it so... That it hates so much. Okay, am I... Ooh. So, I can either drop them off of Orissa and help to support... Or help to relieve the pressure off of Calcutta. Which I think I might actually do. Let's set them to... Attack. Very click and it just takes forever. I don't know what it is. It really hates... Because it's not that it hates the units in the sen in the in the map it really hates. <laughs> okay, dump your troops. I'll deal with you afterwards. And then this time under Hadwin Arnold, I might actually tempted to see if I can hit a Medabad. Always oh, open. Nope, there's a nate, there's an owl. Oh, it's just a... Let's just take Hadwin Arnold's army, secure the river, to interrupt the flow of reinforcements down from the north. Good. Okay, so Orissa, this is just a bunch of armed populace, so I might just, just auto it. Just 400 men, which is more than I would like. Ready. What I want to do is this, and immediately try and build walls. Because ultimately, if it's a small garrison, I'm not really that... If it's not like a proper battle, I'm not that bothered with fighting it, especially considering we've got so many major battles to come. Fix, 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 fix. Army... Built. Obviously they don't like me very much, but you've got a university, don't you? Yes, you do. Let's destroy that. See, now we've given you more to think about, haven't we? Tune is. It's emigration due to starvation. Okay, got a food shortage. Crew in the port. <laughs> Lots of troops recruited in Bengal. At the ready. Okay, so let's put this into test. So if I pull these guys out, More orders? Yes, sir. I can put you guys in. Good. When everyone else hasn't really lost that many men. I mean, the Marines are about 40 men short, but that's not a problem. And you are... Hmm. Trouble is, you're, you're handy to have there in yes, case sir. they get any ideas. So I might recruit another general, Godfrey K. His job will be to provide <laughs> infantry reinforcement from Calcutta. Good. Gareth Rackham, Copper and Cod Braid. So my sword is captured. Um, what I might do is pick right, Clarence Denner, you've already engaged. So move so Oh, okay. So you found a small army. The remnants of another army. But let's move Archibald Backhouse into this army. And we will fight them. But looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for another decently sized battle. 
against the Marath the Confederacy. Cheers, guys.